Hi guys, welcome back to my channel SHK Excel World. And today we are going to cover a very important topic for Excel beginners specifically and for all of those who already know this topic as well because I am going to cover some important additional facts which may not be known to you guys. So do you know that Excel filter can be applied in more than one ways in Excel? So let us start the exercise. I am Salim Heather from SHK Excel World. And if you want to follow along, you can download this file from the link given below in the description and practice right away. So for this exercise, we have this set of data. So the data on hand at the moment is we have the product name, we have the customer, the country of the customer, the category of our product, the unit price, the order date, quantity, ordered and the sales revenue. Ultimately, we have received from the customer. So let us talk about how we can apply filter in more than one ways using Excel filter basics only. So select any cell in your data and use the shortcut key control shift L. So as soon as you press the shortcut key, a drop down icon or the arrow is available in front of each column heading. You can click this and start filtering your data. And if you want to remove this, you can use Ctrl Shift L again to remove the filter. So this is one way of applying the filter. Select any cell in your data, go to the home ribbon. And at the end of the home ribbon, there is a group called editing. And we have an option called sort and filter. And you can click filter and the filter is automatically applied. And if you want to clear this filter, you can again go to the home ribbon and to the sort and filter option and just again click the filter option. So there is a third way of applying filter as well. You just go to the data ribbon and just by clicking anywhere in your table and without selecting your data, you can go to sort and filter group and click the filter option. So besides these, there is another way of applying filter as well. You can right click on any data value within your table and go to filter and you can see a set of four different options. Uh, the one is filter by selected cells value. You can click this and your filter is automatically applied and the data is also filtered. So this is another way of applying the filter. All of these ways can be used for removing the filter as well. A few of them I have already told and you can just choose Control Shift L to remove the filter and see the data in its original position. So one by one, we are going to apply filters to different types of data like we have text in column A, B, C and D. We have numbers in column E, G and H and we have date in column F. So there are different options available for filtering different types of data. So let us apply the filter by selecting anywhere within the data set and pressing Ctrl Shift L. So once you click the drop down in the product name, you can see the list of unique items within the data set. So no item is now repeated, even if it is repeated within the data. For example, if I click a drop down besides the country, you can see that the name of countries is displayed only once, though the data contains repeated names of countries. So in this way, the filter automatically picks up unique items only. So one way of filtering the data is by unchecking the option select all. Now nothing is being selected. I can select the country of my choice and press OK. Now the data is filtered. And I can go to the drop down and select unfilter or clear filter from country. The second option to filter your data is by clicking the drop down and going to the search box within the drop down and writing the item you want to search. For example, I want to display the data related to Canada. And 
all the items that contain Canada as a field value is being displayed and I just have to press OK and my data is filtered. And again, I can just click this and clear filter. Let us go to supplier and click the drop down and write liquid. So all the items that contains liquid within the description are being listed here. I just have to press OK and my data is filtered. I can clear this filter as well by going to this option. The third option to filter your data is using the filter options available within the drop down. So for text, uh, different options are available. For example, equals to does not equal. So these options will compare the exact contents of what you are searching with the contents within the data set. Let us click equals equals exotic liquids and press OK. So the data that contains exotic liquids is shown only. Let us go again to this filter. And if I just remove the last S, it is going to show me nothing because the equals consider complete text of our criteria for searching or filtering the data sets. There are other options as well, but the most common option is contains. For example, if my data contains new, I want this data to be displayed and the rest should not be displayed. Press OK. And anything that contained new within the supplier name is being shown New Orleans and New England both are being shown here. So we can clear filter from this one. The fourth option I have already shown you is by right clicking on any of the items and going to the filter option and selecting filter by cell value. So the filter is automatically applied. We do not need to go to the drop down and then to the search box or checking or unchecking the item. Now coming to the numbers. We go to sales revenue for application of filters related to numbers. Just click the drop down and we can see options similar to those of the text. There is option for checking and checking and there is a search box. But the most useful option for filtering numbers is using the number filter options within the drop down. And it contains equals to greater than less than or between. For example, we use between. We want to know as to which order has given us a sales revenue of greater than 10,000. And because we have selected and so both the criteria will be applied and the sales revenue is less than 20,000. So for numbers, the most preferable option is using the option within the drop down for number filters. There is also option of top X number of items. For example, we can go to top 10 and we can reduce the number of items we want to display. For example, we want to display only top five items and press OK. So the top five items or the top five orders that have given us the maximum revenue are being displayed. Clear filter from this. The third item is the date. So for date, if you click the drop down, you will see that the date is automatically clubbed into the years. And if you expand this option for any of the years, you can see the months of those years. And if you expand the months, you can see the dates. So collapsing all of these, I just want the data to be shown for the year 1997 and not 1996. Just press OK. And you can see that we have only received data where the order date was 1997. Again, we can uncheck this and go to 1996 and we can select the ones of our choice and press OK. And we can see those ones for 1996 only. 
similar to the other two types of data we have options for date filters which are very dynamic and very useful you can select today tomorrow with respect to the current date in your system the next week the next month and there are standard criteria for date as well so before you can select the date order is before 1997 so instead of typing the date we can go here and select any date and change the date to 1997 we want all the orders to be displayed before the date of 1997 and press ok so all the orders that were given during the year 1996 are being displayed here so there is another option you can filter the data by using colors if you have highlighted any of the colors for example i am choosing this color as well and for the sales revenue i am highlighting a different color these values can be highlighted for any reason with respect to their importance or uh, criticality going to quantity and selecting the drop down there is an option activated filter by color i am going to select the yellow one can uncheck this and go to sales revenue and we can filter the items those were colored as green so these are four ways to apply filters and in similar fashion you can remove the filters as well and there were five ways to filter your data you can use the drop down and use the check boxes this is the first option you can use the search box as a second option you can use the built in filter options within the drop down you can filter the data by the highlighted color as well as a fourth option and as a fifth option you can directly click the data and filter right away so these were some interesting facts which were not covered in a single video before in the next video i am going to share some very useful and important tips for accurately applying your filters so that you never commit a mistake so stay tuned to my channel shk excel world and do not forget to subscribe and like this video